Hello crafty friends, it's Alicia of the Call Me Crafty Al YouTube channel and welcome to my stop on the not too shabby Spring Wishes Hop and Giveaway. I hope you'll stick around, see what I'm going to create and find out how you can be entered to win a gift certificate to their online store. Thank you so much for stopping by today. If this is your first time to my channel, I hope that by the end of this video, you'll be inspired to click on that subscribe button below and ring that bell for notifications. If you're already a subscriber and regular viewer, welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here again. In front of me is a little peek at the newest box of the month from Not Too Shabby. I have a feeling this will be one of those that sells out quickly. So if you like what you see on the hop today, you might want to go ahead and snag one up. I will have the link in the description box below and you can just buy a single kit or you can sign up to receive them monthly and receive a little extra discount. If you would like to see everything in the kit, make sure to keep watching to the end of the video and I will share some photos with you. But as you go along on this hop, you're going to see other creators using different products than I'll be using today. And speaking of the hop, there is a giveaway. I will tell you more about the specifics of that as I am doing the card process, but basically you'll just hop along using the hashtag in the title. This month's theme is spring. You have some Easter goodies, some spring goodies, and I also designed another stencil for the kit, which I will be using in today's video. As I add any other products or tools, I will be sure to let you know, but as always, you can leave any questions you have in that comment section below. Let's get crafty! From the box, I will be using the Blooming Into Spring stamp set, the Spring Is Here paper pad, the Tinkerbell sequin mix, and the Spring Borders stencil which I designed. There are a couple different borders you can create here, and when you get this, I do have some suggestions on the back how to use it. I will be creating a mini slimline card today that when it is folded, it is six and a quarter inches wide by three and a quarter inches tall. So I start by cutting this piece of cardstock to six and a half by six and a quarter. And then with the piece that is left over, I cut that down to five and a half inches wide by two and a half inches tall. And this will be what I do my ink blending on. For the pattern papers, I chose these two from the pad. The yellow piece got cut to two and three quarters tall by five and three quarters inches wide. And then the other piece of paper got cut in half to six by three. For my ink blending, I'm going to be using the tulip section of the stencil and I chose my yellow and purple from the pattern paper. And then of course I needed a green for the stems. I am going to hold my stencil in place with a couple pieces of painter's tape that I just took some of the tackiness off with my hand. Now once I have that in place, I did use some post-it notes to cover up the tulip heads for now because I don't want those to get inky. And then I realized as I was getting ready to do the stems, I had just a little bit at the bottom of my card that I needed to cover up. And for this, I just used a scrap. Now ink blending these stems is pretty basic, so while I work on that, I'll tell you all about the giveaway. To enter into this giveaway, which is a $25 gift certificate to the Not Too Shabby online store, you will need to visit and watch each of the videos in the hop. Once you're done watching it, give that video a like and leave a comment. Then when you've watched all of the videos, you are going to do your official entry in the raffle copter link. Now you can either do that from the not too shabby video or I do have it in the description box below. You can find all of the videos in today's hop by clicking on the hashtag that is in the title of this video or you can search for it and it is up on screen now. Even though subscribing to each channel is not required, if you do like what you see, it is always appreciated. 
This giveaway closes on February 7th, and the winner will be announced on the Not Too Shabby YouTube channel. Good luck! Once I had all of the stems ink blended, I removed that from the stencil and then got it set up to ink blend the tulip heads. Now for this, you just kind of move the tulip stencil down and I just made sure that when I had the tulips at a nice height on the piece of cardstock that the green stems would be showing through the stem below it. So you'll, it will make more sense if you had it in front of you, but the stems do extend down into that previously inked area. Once again, I used some sticky notes to cover up the areas I did not want to get inked again. This time I did use the two from before and two new ones to cover up the stem area. For the flower part of the tulips, I am using yellow and purple, which traditionally are not two colors that you want to blend together. I tried to do three little spots of each color, and I tried to avoid too much blending between the two. Now the flowers over on the right, it did turn out a little bit more brown, so what I did, I brought each of the colors back in and just darkened them. I think you'll see once I remove this stencil that adding the little bit of extra color did help with that muddying of colors where the two might have met. I did really end up liking these two colors together. For my sentiment, I chose the Spring Wishes from the stamp set, and I set that up so the top of the letters kind of flowed along with the tulips themselves. I went with the purple ink for the sentiment, and because I wanted it nice and bold so it would stand out with those stems in the background, I ended up inking it up and stamping it three times. All of the pieces were now ready, so I put my card together. The floral pattern paper got centered onto the front of the card base, and then my ink blended piece got matted with the yellow pattern paper. I did add some foam tape to the back of that, so it popped up off the card a little bit. And then for some extra decoration, I added six sequins to the front, and I did a little stamping using another stamp from the same set on the inside. I hope you enjoyed seeing how I made today's card using goodies from the Spring Wishes Box of the Month from Not Too Shabby. If you did, as always, a thumbs up is appreciated. Now don't forget, if you want to see the entire contents of the kit, I will be showing you some photos, and make sure to hop along and get entered to win that gift certificate. Until my next video, I hope you're all having a crafty day! Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. I hope now you'll consider clicking on one of the videos or playlists I have linked above, and if you're interested in any of the products or tools I used in today's video, I do have some links in the description box.